So hopefully that stays focused there. But I wanted to show you the scenes. So you know how they talked about the three different mics on the device? Mm -hmm. So if you go to audio scenes in your camcorder, you can actually easily select what type of audio uh, feed you want for the device. So for example, the narrative is if you're taking a video and you want to actually, narr actually narrate, the back mic is actually what's going to be picking up the majority of the sound, so that way it'll be focused on you versus uh, the other things in your environment. Then you've got outdoors, which you know util utilizes like noise cancellation and it kind of cuts on the wind noise, so that way you'll have a, a better experience there. You've got everyday, which all three mics are lit up and it's capturing everything in your environment. That's pretty clever. Is that something that Motorola added? Or? Yep. Okay. It's actually something Motorola added. And then you've got subjects. So this is, you know, you've got that five-year-old birthday party and you, you want to focus on what your child's saying and not all the other noise and hoopla going around you. It then fires up the front mic to take priority, so that way you can hear what the, you know, what the child's saying and maybe what somebody's whispering in their ear versus everything else around them. Okay, so, so there's a front mic, a back mic, and a noise cancellation like that? Exactly. Okay. So like you can actually see there's the pinhole mic on that on the front there, there's one on the back side, and there's one on the top of the phone. So but that's a pretty that's a pretty neat feature, especially because of the high video capability or the high definition video. To be able to do that with sound as well is pretty amazing. And then you guys all heard about the HDMI out, right? So that's down here at the bottom. So you've got that there. They actually have a demo of the cable there plugged to a TV. So it'll allow you to basically just take that high definition content and then have it displayed on your TV. So remember, there's two ways to show your HD video and your pictures on a television. You can either do it wirelessly through DLNA or you can do it using the HDMI. Cable. Okay. Is there going to be a dock? Uh, there is a dock. Okay. So you'll have that ability, and the dock actually incorporates an HDMI port as well. So you can have your cable plugged into the dock, so it looks nice and neat. You don't have it hanging off the side. Um, and then there's also going to be a car dock. Okay. And the car dock, the nav mount, basically gives you, you know, that full-blown nav functionality that you would normally have with another unit, with six display screens. Um, you know, the ability to actually have a dedicated power source to your vehicle, um, and then you also have the ability to have a audio. Uh, jack with a 3.5 millimeter that'll let you plug it into your car steering. So it's a pretty sweet deal. And again, they have a uh, they have it over there on the demo. Are those dock accessories? Are they all optional? They're all optional. Okay. Yeah. And from our understanding today, the the uh, media multimedia dock um, is how you're going to be able to get the HDMI cable. They're packaged together in a bundle. Okay. 